Arul Miku Sarimathu Ayanar Temple. Arulmigu, Saryamuthu Ayanar Temple, is situated between Papa Nazam and Kaarayar Dam. It is located on the bank of River Tamaravarani, in Ambasamudram Taluk, at Nellai district. It is one of the first Ayyappan Temple, of South India. The presiding deity of the temple is, Lord Mahalinga Swami. Muthianar with his two consorts Purna and Pushkala, is the main guard of worship, along with his lieutenants Sunjali Bhudam, Thusi Madun Thulasi Madun, Pichi, Isaki, Patavaroyan. The term, Porn Sariyam Muthayan means, the Lord who downpours, golden rain, in the plat. Many families worship Saryamuthu Ayanar, as their family deity. Those seeking child boon, and relief from spells, and evil effects, come here. Those facing litigations and court problems, place their prayers to Saryamuthu Ayanar. People also pray to Saryamuthu Ayanar to get more milk from their cows. People offer bronze bells to Buddha Thor in the temple. As the temple happens to be the first Ayyappan temple, People committing to Savarimala, begin their undertaking, by wearing the mala from here. This is a beautiful temple in the Pothigai hill surroundings. People offer Chep Pals, to one deity here, named Vali Pugade, a strange custom followed here. Other usual rituals, such as Abhishek and Archanas, also are followed with feeding visitors. This place, also serves as a health spot. Running water is very pure, and though only knee-deep, gushes with electrifying current, and swirling motion. A dip is a pain reliever, to our body, after an arduous journey, through wild forest area. Lord Dharma Sastha, as Iapan, in the palace of Panthala King, as his adopted son, came to this place first, as a young lad to learn martial arts, hence this is the first temple dedicated to his worship. Based on events in his life, subsequently other Ayapan temples at Kuladupila, Ariankavu and, Akankoil came into being, according to some facts. Saveri Mula temple is the last, when the Lord stayed there for his penance. There are shrines for Lord Mahalingam, Sorimuthu Ayanar, Songli Bhutathar, Brahma Rakshasi, Thalabamadan, Thusi Madan, Patavarayar, Sage Agasthiyar, Sudalamadan, Arulapan, Arudan, Kauraudi Madasami, the Guardian Deities. Those one who on Saveri pilgrimage, visit this first temple, to wear the mala. Among the five famous Lord Ayapa temples, this is considered as the Muladhara. Lord Dharma Sastha, enshrines with his left leg bent, and the right hanging down slightly, sliding on the left. 
Sapthikanikas, that is, seven maidens, are also in his shrine. Those who are not aware of their family deity, could pray here. The transcendental carriers, Nundi the bull, elephant, and horse, enshrine here in the Mundapam. Lord Bhairava, graces at the front Mundapam with his transcendental carrier, the dog before him. Brahmin, Muthupatan by name, fell in love with two girls, born in a different community. He died in a battle, to protect the cows. Later, a shrine was built for him, Patavarayur, where he enshrines with his wives Bumaka and Thimaka. Even though Brahmin by birth as advised by his father-in-law, he also learned the cobbler's art. Hence, devotees tie chap pals in the shrine. When the devotees visit the shrine next year, they will find that the chap pals are worn out, though not used by anybody. This seems to be miracle in the temple. As this temple is in jungle region, and also there have been no much of human movements, even then, those chap pals are found, as used and old. Villagers in the region come here in large numbers to worship Padavaraya Swami, for the welfare of their cattle. There is an alupai tree in the temple premises. The bells tied by devotees get stuck to the tree, which is considered, as the Lord acknowledging their prayers. There are Sunghili Bhuthathar, Mathaiar, Pathala Kandihai, Komhamuni as guardian deities, under this tree. There is also Lord Vinayakar nearby with two elephants on both sides. It is generally believed that, Saberi Hill is the first temple for Lord Dharma Sastha. But, this temple on the Pathi High Hills, revered as the Muladhara, is considered as the first by some people. During the divine wedding of Lord Shiva with Mother Parvati, as this mount went down, due to the weight of the heavy crowd gathered there, Lord Shiva sent Sage Augusthir, to south, to balance the ground level. Sage worshipped Lord Shiva on this hill. The Shivalinga worshipped by the sage, got buried under the sand, in the days that followed. Cows grazing in this region, were found pouring their milk, at a particular spot, and this was communicated to the king. He found a linga at the spot, and built a temple. Dharma Sastha too came out of this place as Sori Muthu Ayanur. Patter, by name, one Brahmin, lived in North India. His brothers were discussing, about Ramayana. During their talks, the brothers asked Muthu Patter, about the relationship, of Rama with Siddha. Patter said, uncle. Beaten by the brothers, for his ignorance, about the epic story, he came to Pathi High Hills. He lost himself, to the two daughters, of one Vali Pakade belonging to the backward community. As community was a hurdle to marry them, he declared himself as a member of that community. Quite unfortunately, on the conjugal night, a cow was stolen, and Muthupatar went in search of the cow, 
and was killed in a quarrel there. His two wives also embraced death, along with him. According to a manual of Trevankar state, on Ayapan, Muthupadar, himself came out as, Surya Muthuayanar. instance of this rare phenomenon, has found a place, in government revenue records, maintained by the British rulers. The temple is divided into two, with the passage of a branch, from the main river. On the one side, a temple is erected for Padavarian, and his two wives, belonging to shoemaking community, whereas, Padavarian is said to hail, from Brahmin society. And in Turkast marriage, even at the olden times. Padavarian was a warrior, who lost his life, while fighting a battle, with an army of another region, which wanted to take away cattles, from the temple area. In order to get rid the adverse effects, of caste systems, Ayapan, is said to have been disguised himself, in the form of a human, and married that two daughters, of Bali Pakate, belonging to the cobbler community. Five days, during Ashada Amhavase period, are with high festivity. Eighteen warfare items, that is, weaponry, are displayed during that period. This temple is under the administration, of Singh Ampati Zameen, who takes adequate care, in maintaining the temple, with all piety, and divinity. An estimated two lakhs devotees, come to Karayar, Anthai, and Adi Amhavase, that is, new moon days. Also, all Amhavase days, are very devotionally observed in this temple. People make tents, to stay in the temple, a month in advance. They bring with them, all provisions for cooking, to fulfill their prayer commitments. <laughs>